everyone! Today we're going to be making sticky veggie stir fried rice with crispy tofu. So this should be a super fast weekday meal. We've got all of our veggies, we've got our rice for our carbohydrates, we've got our tofu for our protein, and we've got a really yummy sweet and sour sauce to go with it. This meal should not take longer than 30 minutes, so it's perfect for your weekday evening meal where you're running out of time but you still want to eat a healthy meal at home. So we're going to start off by chopping all of our veggies. The trick of sticky fried rice is in the rice. So. You can have leftover rice, whichever one you've got. Ideally, it should be short grain. That's what helps to have that nutty texture. And also, apparently, this sticky rice is also known as sweet glutinous rice. It doesn't have gluten in it, but the glutinous word comes from the fact that it's sticky and a little bit chewy. So that's what I've got here, but you can really use any rice for this. This is a perfect dish for leftovers. When it comes to the sauce and the spices, we're gonna be using Chinese five spice. I really love this spice. A little amount of it goes such a long way in terms of flavor. And then we have our soya sauce. We have a little bit of agave for the sweetness. I'm using sambal for the spicy part of it and a little bit of vinegar, rice vinegar too. And of course, we're gonna saute everything with sesame oil, which gives that incredible chinese flavor. And lastly, for the tofu, we're gonna chop up into little cubes. We're gonna coat it in some corn flour and pan fry it with some sesame oil and a little bit of soya sauce, and that's it. You can um, chop up the ginger or you can just use crushed ginger. I like tasting the different bites of ginger, so I keep it quite rough, but you can um, use grated or crushed ginger too. I'm actually gonna also top off this stir fried rice with some nori or some seaweed. The crunchy seaweed adds a really nice texture, but also adds a bit of an umami flavor, which is really nice. So you're gonna start off by pouring in your sesame oil. Chop in your ginger. Your um, chilies. This is where I put in the asafoetida or king. And then throw in your cabbage. The rest of your veggies except for your mushroom. Leave the mushroom till the end. We take in the green beans, the carrots, and your peas. You're gonna saute this for a couple of minutes and then add in the mushroom. You can sprinkle a little bit of salt just to help the vegetables cook down, but the soya sauce will provide most of the saltiness. You can add in your mushrooms next. While the veggies are stir fry, you can actually chop up your tofu on the side just to speed things up a little bit. I actually uh, wrapped the tofu before I cut it in some paper towels just to let the moisture out. It makes it a lot more firm and helps it get more crispy when you're cooking it. And I'm just doing really small little cubes just so that it kind of goes with all the small veggies as well. Keep mixing your veggies on the side. So you're gonna have to do a bit of multitasking with this. If you want the meals to get done fast, you're gonna have to do two things at once. So I think we figured out that by the time you cut your tofu, the veggies are pretty much done. <laughs> So now just add in your um, rice. So I'm gonna add in all the rice into this now. Mix into the veggies and stir fry it. Again, just for a couple of minutes. So all the rice infuses the flavors from the veggies. If the rice is stuck together, make sure you kind of break it up just by knocking it down. Cook. You can leave that on low heat and just let it cook for a little bit. Meanwhile, let's mix together all of our ingredients for the sauce. So. It's gonna be all the stuff that we spoke about before. So we've got our soya sauce. Actually, I'm just gonna do it all in this bowl. And I'm gonna add in the sambal, which is the spice. Then we've got our agave for the sweet. Also, how cute is this little teacup? <laughs> then we've got the rice vinegar. And then we have the Chinese five spice going in. Mix it all together. And then just because I want my sauce to be quite sticky as well, 
I'm gonna add in um, a little bit of cornstarch just to help it, help give it that stickiness and, and thicken when it's added into the rice. It won't thicken as you add it, but it will thicken as you heat it up. Um, it's activated by heat, so it will start to thicken once you add it to the heat. So the sauce is ready. Now let's leave the sauce aside. We're gonna leave the veggies aside and the rice aside, and we're just gonna quickly cook our tofu. So before we um, cook it, remember I said we're gonna coat it in some corn flour, just to make sure that the tofu is extra crispy. So I'm just gonna sh shove it into a bowl, and then I'm just gonna dredge some corn flour over the top trying to coat them all as evenly as possible, but we're doing it in a rush, so can't be too precious with it. I'm gonna use sesame oil again, but you know, it depends how much you like sesame oil. I love the flavor of sesame oil, especially when I'm cooking Chinese food, but um, you can use normal oil as well, sunflower oil if you want to. Actually, I'm gonna mix all I'm gonna put a little bit of chili oil in there too, but that's my obsession with chili coming through. Perfect, and now let's put in the tofu. So I usually let it crispen on one side, leaving it um, without kind of touching it or moving it. And then I'll start tossing them around just to evenly um, crisp them. You might have to keep trying to separate the tofu because it's got the corn flour on them. They might stick together. So kind of pushing them apart as they're cooking is a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna try like move these about by tossing them. So let's see if they've got nice and crispy. Oh, they have. So you're gonna keep doing that till all the sides are crispy. You can see here, this one's brown and crisp. You might be asking, how are you even touching these? Because it must be so hot, it is. But with all the cooking I've done in my life, my hands seem to be um, like gloves. So use a spoon when you're doing this part, okay? <laughs> so once they're crispy enough for you, then just pour over some soy sauce on them. This is just to add a little bit of flavor before we add it into the rice. Okay, these look really great and pretty much done. Let's mix in the sauce into the rice, so we'll add the tofu in and then we'll be fully done. <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna add on the sesame seeds and the nori. I'm gonna take the nori, I'm gonna crunch it into the... Amazing! This looks so yummy. I'm so excited to try it. Not gonna lie, I haven't made this before either, um, which seems to be a common theme. I feel like I should start a series of trying a dish for the first time on YouTube. But um, I'm actually really happy with it. I need to taste it, I know, but it looks exactly how I wanted it to. Picture this, it's been a really long day. You come home and all you wanna do is eat food that feels comfort food. Food that makes you feel warm and cuddly inside and just makes you say, mmm, that tastes good. But you don't want to order out and you want something that still doesn't just taste good but feels good too. And that's exactly what this is. This is gonna be such a great, delicious, nourishing meal that doesn't just taste good but feels good too. So let's give this a taste, shall we? Honestly, the stickiness is on point. 10 out of 10 for stickiness. 10 out of 10 for being able to look, make vegetables look so damn good and 10 out of 10 for how fast it actually was. If you end up chopping all your veggies first, it could literally be like a 15 minute meal. So, but even though you're tired and even though you're in a rush to eat, there is always time for a bit of gratitude. So say a prayer of gratitude before you eat this delicious meal um, and just think about what you've been thankful for the whole day whether it's been a rough day, whether it's been a brilliant day, whatever kind of day you've had, just um, have a moment to have serious gratitude for it. So let's give this a go, shall we? I've got a bit of everything on here, the seaweed, the tofu, the rice, the veggies, the sticky sauce, all of it. Cheers. Yes. Definitely a yes. This is so good. Spicy, sweet, sticky, savory, yummy. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment if you do. And um, sending you so much love. Let me know what else you'd like to see in my videos, in the comments. And sending you so much love for the week. And hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful day.